Former Prime Minister of New Zealand, Dame Jacinda Ardern, married her lifelong partner, Clark Gayford, in a magnificent ceremony attended by dignitaries, relatives, and politicians. The couple exchanged vows on a Saturday afternoon at the Craggy Range Vineyard in Havelock North in the Hawke's Bay region of New Zealand. Shortly after 6 p.m. local time, official images from the small ceremony were made public. Ardern, 42, wore a translucent white full-length veil that was strikingly identical to the one her mother Laurel wore when she married her father Ross Ardern 47 years ago. She was wearing a white halterneck gown that Juliet Hogan had custom made. To go with his wife's orchid-filled bouquet, Gayford chose a sleek and understated black Zambesi suit with a white shirt, black tie, and white boutonniere. Five-year-old Neve, their daughter, wore a frock fashioned from Ardern's mother's wedding gown as she and her father made their way down the aisle. Ms. Ardern arrived in a four-wide from her adjacent lodging, then made her way through the vines, shielded from the sun by an entourage of people holding umbrellas. The former lawmaker was kept cool throughout the heated ceremony by a bridesmaid clutching an umbrella as the wedding took place behind a cluster of trees in the middle of the vineyard. One of the guests flaunted the pawa and fish sausage bun, among other peculiar canapes. On Instagram, a who's who of New Zealand society attended the star-studded event, which included labor opposition leader Chris Hipkins and his partner Tony Grace, renowned chef Peter Gordon, and New Zealand High Commissioner to Australia, Dame Annette King. At 2 p.m., visitors started to arrive at the expansive estate. Some came in opulent cars, while others rode in coaches with tinted windows. Before entering the venue gates, each attendee had to present photographic identity and their complete name to security, due to multiple demonstrators holding posters accusing Miss Ardern of being responsible for vaccine-related diseases and lockdowns during the COVID era there was a significant police presence, a man protesting with a sign that said, let us forget jab mandates, was spotted circling the opulent estate hours before guests were scheduled to arrive. Another demonstrator was observed waving death signs with pictures of New Zealanders purportedly lost to vaccine-related ill effects as a result of mandates. There was a marked police car seen traveling up and down the country road that leads to the vineyard. A mother of three from the area who wished to remain anonymous expressed her surprise that more people hadn't turned out to oppose the former prime minister's wedding. She's not the person the global media has portrayed her as, she said at the outset. J.B. Sinda is how people in New Zealand refer to her because of her lockdown and vaccine policies. Later on, a female protester was spotted at Craggy Range broadcasting anti-mandate propaganda on a big boombox while holding a banner that said, this is bananas. Locals claim that rallies became more frequent in the final year of Ardern's prime ministership. Therefore, the large number of protesters is not surprising. A series of threats on the former prime minister's life were also part of the demonstrations, which featured violent mass protests against vaccination requirements that ended in a standoff outside Parliament House. It would not surprise me if someone places a protest sign at the top of Temata Peak, which overlooks the craggy range, against Jacinda's big day, a local Maori person explained. At the top of Temata Peak, there was a marked police vehicle parked. There have also been numerous private security guard vehicles spotted entering and exiting the charming location. The vineyard's automatic gates are closed, but employees and suppliers can still enter thanks to the presence of a security guard nearby. Nearly 10 years have passed since their first date, and two years have passed since a previous scheduled wedding was called off by COVID. The location, dubbed the most Instagrammable vineyard in the world, has a vast white teepee-style marquee where the post-wedding supper and fine wines will be served, as well as outside umbrellas and an outdoor bar. The happy couple reserved the entire craggy range starting on Friday, which included exclusive use of the hotel and restaurant. Many of Ardern's former Labour Party colleagues, including party head and fellow former PM Chris Hipkins and his wife Jade, who were photographed sleeping at a nearby motel, are expected to be on the guest list. It is reported that attendees will be entertained by Grammy Award-winning musician Lord. Due to a scheduling difficulty, 
British musician Ed Sheeran, who had previously indicated interest in performing at the wedding, was unable to attend. Friday's private wedding rehearsal festivities at a neighboring property precede the wedding day. Regarding the specifics of the wedding, the couple, their friends, and family have stayed very quiet, with the location being dubbed the worst kept secret in New Zealand. Workers arrived on Wednesday to set up the big marquee alongside the vineyard's well-kept gardens, signaling the start of preparations for the star-studded wedding. Large tables were set up on the marquee by Thursday, when guests could savor the winery's renowned cuisine, which has won two caps in the Cuisine Good Food Awards. The restaurant's summer cuisine features pan-fried local fish, roasted hohepa halloumi, glazed lamb shoulder, and venison tartare. Ardern is said to have visited Hawks Day earlier this week. She was seen visiting the adjacent Hastings Distillers on Wednesday together with 12 other women. Leading Kiwi designer Juliet Hogan, who is close to Ardern, is suspected of designing the former Prime Minister's wedding gown. It's anticipated that Ms. Hogan will be a guest at the event as well. On this crucial day, Ardern's hair is reportedly being styled by reality TV star and celebrity stylist Tane Tomoana. Ardern's hair was previously fashioned by him for her Time magazine cover appearance. Dan Awa, style editor at Canvas and creative and fashion director at Viva, expressed his optimism for Ardern's wedding attire. Jacinda's fashion sense is well established, and she's always been keen to support New Zealand designers, he told the NZ Herald. She knows what works best for her and has established some great relationships with the best in our field, including Kiri Nathan, Juliet Hogan, and Kate Sylvester. Her style is contemporary and minimalist at heart. Therefore, her wedding dress will reflect this. Clark will undoubtedly be dressed elegantly, tastefully, and complimenting as well. Field of Roses, a tiny floral design studio in the Winegate Valley just outside of Gisborne, has designed flowers for the occasion.